All right, so now that we have our paper as a grid, we're going to come back to our picture that is already have a grid on it. This grid is one by one, and this is two by two. So the reason I did it two by two because I want to make this picture larger. Now working from a grid is going to be a lot easier and quicker to make this drawing. The first thing is when I start, what I'm going to do is I'm going to label my squares the exact same as I have on to here as on to I'm as I'm going to have on here. So I'm going to mark A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So on here I have A through G. This is going to be my drawing. So what I want you to visualize is that we're going to ignore these other parts of the drawing that was still on there. So I'm just going to make my image in this rectangle, just as onto here. So now that I have it marked A through G, I am now going to then mark this paper with my numbers going down. So my number one will be in the same uh, square as the A. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this bottom row I do not need, so I'm going to eliminate that by scribbling that in. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to draw this picture square by square. So whatever is in a square is going to be the exact same in here, but it's just going to be a little bit larger. So as I'm looking at this, I'm looking at 3B. I can see that this edge of this candy is right here. So when I place that line into here, I want to have the same amount of space showing in here like I have onto here. So when I start with this, I'm going to make sure that it's going to have roughly the same space. So now I can see that I'm in 3B. This line is going to come down and it barely cups into that... 3a and you can see I was starting to make a little bit of mistakes so I fixed that and now the other thing is is that I forgot to mention is how you want to sketch this and you want to draw this to be pretty light because again we're going to be doing a lot of erasing and we also don't want to make this look like this was a grid so eventually we're going to erase all these grid lines so I'm just going to continue going so in 5B, I can see that I have the bottom part of this candy. All right, so there's a lot of space being shown, so I want to show a lot of space onto here. I'll come into here, and then as you can see in 5D, so here's D, 5D, it's going to be right, and it's going to nick that little corner, and then I'm just going to come up, draw this, going to... And I hit that corner again. So if I make my mistakes, if I'm not drawing something in the right area, you know, it's very nice that I'm drawing and sketching light so that I can erase it and that it's not permanent. So after I have this, I'm now going to work on to the next little skittle that's placed into here, and that is in 3D. So I'm going to go to 3D. I notice the amount of space that I have to keep. So that's here. It's going to come on to 3E, just a little bit, and it's going to come down into 4E. Now, now I start to see that there's another Skittle right there. So that's in my 4D again, 4D. And this is going to come all the way down. It's going to hit going to this E, it's going to hit that, it's going to leave a little bit of a corner, and since these are Skittles, they're not going to be a perfect round, so that's nice because you don't have to get over concerned about creating those perfect round circles, it'll be a little deformed, almost more oval, so I have this, there's a little bit of a gap in my 4E. I'm going to draw this next Skittle. It's almost hitting that corner right here. It's 
comes into my 4F, and it's going to come all the way down. It's going to hit this area right at the bottom. There's another Skittle that's going to be drawn into here, and that's going to be my G. And that's going to have it drawn here. bottom part of that skittle is going to come into here. So I'm leaving this gap because I'm looking at my drawing as I am also looking at the picture. So I'm always going to be comparing the grid to my picture. So I'm making sure that I am having the same amount of space that I see from this photo as onto here. All right. So I have this skittle being drawn onto there. I'm just going to continue working. I'm now in my 3F. This is where this is in. And you can also see that I am not 4G. I'm not worried about details yet. I'm just kind of working as a contour drawing, just getting the outside edges drawn. This will make this drawing so much quicker if you're doing exactly what I'm doing right here. So let's see, I'm over here, now I'm back. So I got this Skittle done. And that was in my 3F. Now I'm going to continue. Placing this over into here. Another, again, I'm just constantly comparing one to the other. I have the other candy piece that I'm going to draw. So this is going to be C, 2C. So this is here. It comes into D. Comes down into my 3. There's a small little gap right there. After I have this drawn, then I can start to worry about that lollipop that's going to be coming into my 2E, coming down into my 3FG, having that drawn, coming back into here, E. One, now for the stick, it's kind of at an angle, so I'm going to make sure that it's going to come up where my A is, and then I'm going to come down from my A, B, C, and then the D. Yeah, right there, this is where this is going to be right here, that part of the lollipop. And then again, I'm just going to get this other line, duplicating and making sure it's kind of parallel. Having that drawn in. Now the last part that I'm going to finish off with is I'm going to place in the lollipop here. So this is going to be 1A coming down into B. This area is 2B. As I can see, I'm comparing. I'm kind of making this other piece of candy right there. And now I have my... I got this little mark. So now I have it drawn. It's just as a contour drawing. Now that I have this done, then I'm going to, before I start to add my details, I'll start to erase these grid lines. Um, if I need to, because if I need to know where, you know, certain uh, parts of the candy are and how to draw it, I will maybe keep my grid. Uh, but if I know that I'm going to be in 4B, and this is going to be here, this is kind of, I'm going to start to get rid of some of the grid lines. So 
So after I have that, now I'll start to work on, again, it's just a very nice light sketch. In this candy, I want to make sure that these lines are bowed to give it more of that form. All right, so this is now adding that detail, erasing my grid lines. And even after I have erased these lines, I may need to go back in. Uh, you know, when I'm working more with the detail of the wrapper, definitely we'll get some. Now, the other thing is, is that don't get over concerned to try to make this exactly the same. Try to imply what you see. Uh, you may not put all the words in, uh, maybe just a little bit, have these lines. The other thing to make it look like a wrapper is by kind of making it wavy. Uh, you can, there's a line right here where it's broken. So this line is kind of coming here, but then there's a line right there, and then it, you want to have that broken up so it looks like it. So this is the first step. Continue working on, once you have it drawn as a contour line drawing, then you can start to add the details and erase in the grid lines.